Aleph Aeronautics is back in the headlines this week because the company says it has started building its first customer flying cars. Moving from prototypes and test work into an early production phase in Silicon Valley. That shift matters because it is the moment where big promises have to turn into repeatable hardware, not just a cool demonstration clip. The vehicle at the center of the story is the Aleph Model A, an all-electric car designed to do two jobs. On the ground, it is positioned as a street-legal low-speed vehicle for local driving. In the air, Aleph is aiming for vertical takeoff and landing using multiple rotors integrated into the body with the passenger cabin inside a mesh-like structure so airflow can pass through. The idea is simple. Drive like a small city car, then lift up and hop over a traffic jam when it makes sense. Aleph has talked about a road driving range around 200 miles and an air range around 110 miles in prior specifications with a price target around $300,000 for early units. Those numbers are attention grabbing, but the more important takeaway is the path the company is trying to take. Instead of jumping straight into a fully certified mass market aircraft, Aleph has been framing the Model A as an ultralight style approach with limited initial use cases, controlled rollout, and training. It is a way to get real-world learning while keeping the first version as constrained as possible. This is also where reality checks come in. A flying car is not just a car with propellers. Noise, safety redundancy, flight control stability, battery draw in hover, and weather limits are all major factors that can decide whether the experience feels practical or stressful. Even if the vehicle can take off vertically, it still needs suitable locations, predictable operating rules, and a clear plan for who is allowed to fly it and where. That is why the company's talk about early customer deliveries for testing and refinement is not just a marketing line. It is the part where the product has to behave consistently outside a controlled environment. From a design perspective, the Model A is not trying to look like a helicopter or a small airplane. It looks like a futuristic car first, with flight hardware hidden in the structure. That design choice makes sense for attention and packaging, but it also raises expectations. Viewers will assume it can be used like a normal car, parked like a normal car, and owned like a normal car. The first time people see it operating in public settings, the gap between what looks normal and what behaves like an aircraft will be the real story. If Aleph truly delivers early units soon, the most interesting content will not be a dramatic launch. It will be the boring details. How long does pre-flight take? How loud is it at takeoff and landing? How stable does it feel in a crosswind? How much flight time do you really get when the battery is not brand new? And how often will owners actually choose to fly instead of drive? Those are the questions that decide whether this becomes a niche novelty or the first step towards something bigger.